So we're going to still work out of this cross tuning, which is a, uh, a C sharp uh, on the top string, A, E, and A in the bottom. So this is for Black Mountain Rag, or you know, you can really play uh, different tunes. You just have to be inventive, but this is really the Black Mountain Rag tuning. And uh, I'm going to address a, a little bit of an issue. Uh, every time I switch fiddles, switch tunings, all those things, I'm going to switch bows too, because really, there's a bow that will make every violin speak rather well. If you go uh, to uh, the article that we have posted on here on our website, you'll find that uh, Ken Altman wrote How to Choose a Bow. And I highly recommend that because uh, I am a firm believer that uh, every fiddle needs its own bow. And uh, some bows will be great on three, four fiddles or a hundred fiddles. And then, gosh, you'll get a fiddle that needs its own bow. So, so let's talk a little bit about this second section of uh, Black Mountain Rag. There's a couple different ways to play it. I'd say that's kind of regular. Uh, we have this plucked uh, pizzicato version. We have this harmonic version. This what I call Chinese Benny Martin double stops. And then we have this uh, the other double stop that uh, uh, I think I was shown earlier. Those are all different variations for the second part of Black Mountain Rag.